Shalom. It's your brother Malcolm I'm from the Chicago GMS camp. Um, first, uh, first and foremost, we give all glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh being the Father, Bahashem means in the name of. Okay, Ba is in, Hashem is the name. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, now I'd like to say double honors to the apostles of GMS, the elders of GMS. And I'd like to say salutations to the uh, brothers on the four corners of the earth that are pushing this truth and truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. The true Akim, whether they're in GMS or not, if you're doing this thing in truth and sincerity, according to the doctrine which has been taught by the elders of GMS, salutations unto you. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with, you know, with uh, Ephesians. Go to the book of Ephesians. Four and one, because this, you know, this is a serious thing that we're in. And normally, you know, this sort of thing that I'm about to do now um, is not normally what I do on my sit downs. I usually, you know, try to stay in my lane. Uh, you know, the, the Most High gave me the, the the gift of history, man. I'm able to open up a book and 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 read the history and filter it, you know, through the scriptures, man. But you know, that there, there's some, but you know, there's something heavy in my spirit, man, because you got brothers out there who are being who are being a uh, uh, reprobates going against the the very teachers that taught them man you know it's like uh when you watch one of them, them old kung fu flicks you know uh when a student raises up and tries to go against his very own teacher man you know uh the teacher who taught him and now he wants to you know he wants to take the teacher place and you got brothers out there like that man all right um and, and it's it's so obvious that they're in this thing for filthy lucre's sake you know you know, if you if you have a uh, if you have web pages that 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 are selling merchandise, okay, um, you in this thing for for filthy lucre sake because there's no the Lord didn't send you to sell anything. This is what the Lord sent you to do. And let me just you know get into the scriptures. This is Ephesians uh, four and nine. It says, "Now he that ascended." What is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, notice that's first, and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, the Israelites, because you can't be a saint if you're not an Israelite. Okay. Just because you believe in the Bible, if you're not an Israelite by blood, you're not a saint. And the scriptures, you know, prove that. For the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. So he set up apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for, uh, you know, you know uh, for the edifying of the body of Christ, man. All right. That, that we all may become ho holy priests. All right. And, and, get, and get those crowns when that time comes. Okay. Um, uh, verse, verse 13, till we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge and the all is the elect because all of Israel is never going to come together, man. So you, so you, you brothers out there, you know, or you, you Israelites out there who, who all trying to get together, you know, or what what's that they call that the, the Hebrew war machine? Well, what, what is that? Cause it's other Hebrew nations, man. You, you, Ammon is uh, Hebrews, Moab are Hebrews, so-called white men are Hebrews, man. So you got, you're right, you know, you got uh, uh, Ishmael, the Arabs are Hebrews. So what's the Hebrew war machine, man? You have to be an, a Hebrew Israelite, okay? All right, the Israelites are not the only Hebrew family, all right? You have to specifically be an Hebrew Israelite. And then to, 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 to make it even clearer, you have to be among the elect because not all Israel is Israel and all of Israel is not going to come together. Only the one third, the elect, is going to do that. Okay? Next scripture. I'm going to go to uh, uh, 1 Peter uh, 2 and 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him 
who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. So if you've woken up to the fact that you're an Israelite in this day and age, man, you should be very thankful because you basically, you, you, got, you got half the requirements down, all right? And if you're trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, now all you have to do is, is do the work, go out on the highways and do the work of the Lord, not charging people for it in any form or fashion, not trying to sell headbands, uh, T-shirts, arm, arm, arm bracelets, arm bands, you know, belts and buckles, you, you know, whatever. Not trying to sell breakdowns, okay? You're supposed to, you're supposed to give this for free, man. You didn't pay for it. Now you got to give it back for free, man. Okay? Uh, next scripture is Exodus 19 and 6. It says, And ye shall be unto me, you shall be, when not yet. All right? We haven't, re we haven't fulfilled that requirement or that, that honorable title of being priest yet. This is what we're going to become, okay? It says, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. See, the key, the key word, ye shall be. All right? So we're not there yet, man. That's things, and here's one of the requirements that we have to, we have to do, man. This is wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. All right? Because we're going to get persecuted for this thing. You know, Mark 13 and 13 pretty much tell you that, they, you know, you know, in, in, a, in a rough paraphrasing it, that they're going to hate this truth, man, and hate the men who teach it, man. And that's just one scripture. But this is Wisdom of Solomon 5, starting at verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such that have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And that's referring to the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, man. All right, that's them. Because they've made no account of of what Jacob has done in this society. As a matter of fact, they put their name on, on most of the things, the inventions, and the things that Jacob created. Even They even put their name on Jacob's heritage. Changed the color of the Lord, changed the color of the saints the, via the Renaissance, and, and changed the meaning of words, and they've, they've, they've uh, labeled themselves and pushed, it, pushed to the world the image that they are the people of the Most High when they're not. All right? Because where are they at standing before, you know, standing in the gates of the nobles, man? All right. It says, and, and then, you know, <laughs> their name is not a, one of the top names on the list of Rex 84, man. All right. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for, because the Lord is going to come save his elect personally, man, with the chariots, man. And that's going to freak people out. This is when people start to lose it, man. Then you're going to know who was the Lord's people and who's not, man. Some person is running around calling themselves a priest. Chief this and chief that. They said we shall be. Exodus 19 and 6, man. We're not there yet, man. None of us. All our righteousness is filthy rags, mine included, man. I don't think I'm something special, man. I'm trying to make it on them chariots, man. And it's as simple as that. I'm trying to do the work of the Most High, man. Praying that, that my family, that my sons make it on them chariots with me, man. That my brothers in this truth will be making on them chariots with me. That's what I'm concerned about. Okay? Everything else at this point means nothing, man. This society is about to collapse and they're about to move on us. Okay? Uh, now I'm going to go to the book of Tobit. The 13th chapter. Let's see like so before Judith or after before? before. Uh, 14th chapter, uh, Salaki, the 13th chapter. Um, <clears throat> and it's, uh, I'm going to read verses 1 through 5, man. Because we got to be in the spirit of. Uh, of of Tobit, man. Okay, and I'm gonna read this prayer. This is this is actually uh, something I, I I bring out quite often because I, I love this particular set of scriptures, man. But it's fitting for what I'm doing. It says, "Then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, Blessed be the power that liveth forever, and blessed be his kingdom, for he doth scourge and have mercy, and he leadeth down to hell, 
and breaketh up again, neither is there any that can avoid his hand. And we are in hell right now. But he has promised us, he sent us the comforter, which is what? These scriptures, man. Yahweh Shai, it says in, in, in John that, that he the word became flesh, man. And the word and and the and the, and, and the word is, is alive, man. The word Yahweh Shai is living in these scriptures, man. That's the comforter. Alright? So that's our comfort down here in hell, man. We know that, that we get the reward. You know, what whether whether you know, even if I don't make the first trip, I know that I get to wake up and be in the ruling class people and, and, and when I come back, that I'm gonna come back born into the Israelites, be the ruling class people. Okay? And never have to live like I've been living uh these last 15, 20 years of my adult life, man. It's been a, a horrible struggle, man. You know? It says, uh, uh, confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. So we're scattered among all the heathen upon the face of the earth. And so it says that we have to confess him before the Gentiles. No one else is doing that outside of the men of the Lord, man. If not, where and who are they? Because you know, people like Judah Nazareth, where is he out confessing? Where is his camps all over the place? And people like him. All them scoffing dummies, man. They're not going out doing the work of the Lord. Okay? It says, uh, yeah, I read that again. The, uh, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. There declare his greatness and exalt him before all living. And we tell, we tell him, he's going to destroy uh, uh, America. He's going to destroy this wicked kingdom. Destroy all the rulerships of the earth and set his people on high and crown them with crowns and make them priests, royal priesthood. That's when we become priests. That's when we can call ourselves chief priests. Okay. It says declare his greatness and exalt him before all living. For he is our power, personal pronoun, not everyone's. And he that is our, uh, he is that is our power, our father forever. Personal pronouns, the subject matter. Okay? He will scourge us for our iniquities, and he will have mercy again. So that's why we're going through the hell that we're going through, man. Salaki, so we're not just going to get given the kingdom of heaven, man. We got to go through that, man. Even to become a wicked, you know, these wicked Greek fraternities, you got to go through something. All right? So let the heathen and let the two-thirds cling on to this side, man. We're going to, we're going to, we're pledging. To be a part of the elect, man. The ultimate fraternity. The Lord's fraternity, man. Alright? The ones where you're going to be able to shoot fire from your mouth and lightning out your eyes. You know? Where well, you have powers like uh, like the character Hancock in that movie, man. You know? Like, like the X-Men and that sort of thing. And it may sound far out to some of you, but there's scriptures to back that up. That's in the Bible. Okay? Not just making it up because it sounds good. All right, and it says he will scourge us for our iniquities, and he will have mercy again, and he will gather us out of the nations among where he, um, whom he hath scattered us. So the Israelites got scattered to the four corners of the nation, and you know I have to throw it in there that never happened to the so-called Jewish people over in the land of, uh, uh, of Israel. They didn't get scattered to the four corners of the earth. Um, it's, it's, that never happened to them. All right, they converted in the year 740 A.D. All right, this is Tobit. Uh, uh, 14 and 5. Um, is it 14 and 5? Is that what I want? Yeah. And that and that again, Yahweh will have mercy on them and bring them again into the land where, where they shall build a temple and, and but not like to the first until the time that the age be fulfilled and afterward they shall return from all the places of their captivity and build up Jerusalem glorious. And the house of Yahweh shall be built in it forever with the glorious building as the prophets have spoken of. And when is that going to happen, man? Let's go to 2nd Ezra, man. I call this the, uh, the Kazakh scripture, man. Because my brother Kazakh, he be, you know, he be, he be lighting you up with this scripture. This, I'm going to start at 2nd uh, Ezra's... Uh, uh, 35 be ready to re to reward the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore flee the shadow of this world receive joyfulness of your glory I testify 
my Savior openly. All right? Who is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai is our Savior, man. Okay? Oh, receive the gift that is given you, and be glad, giving thanks unto him that have called you to the heavenly kingdom. Arise and stand, behold, of those that be sealed, the feast of the Lord. Now, this is when we get to be called priests, man. Not before. Okay? This is when we really get to, that, to we, that title was earned, is what we really are. Okay? You know what I'm saying. All right? Which are departed from the shadow of the world and receive glorious garments of the Lord, man. All right. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up. See, the subject of those who are going to get the glory of Zion, not all people just because you believe, man. You know, that, that false Christian doctrine. The, the Edomite slave master renaissance doctrine. That's a lie. Okay. It says, the number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hallowed. Man, that's the, that's the 144,000 and the one-third, the elect. Okay? I, Ezra, saw upon the mount of Zion a great people whom I could not number, and, that, and, and they all praise the Lord with songs. Okay? And in the midst of them there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and, and that was more exalted, which I marvel at so greatly. So he was setting crowns on them. That's when we become, we become kings and priests, man. Okay? Let's lock you, man. Let me let this go. Come on. Come on. Locky, locky. She's pacing back and forth. I knew she had to use it. Uh, <clears throat> so let, now I'm going to jump over to uh, Revelation. All right. I'm going to go to Revelation, the seventh chapter. All right. And it says, uh, I'm going to start at verse one. I'm going to read down to about verse eight. And it says, in uh and after these things, I saw the four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. All right. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Meaning you've been sealed with this knowledge, this wisdom and understanding. That mark that makes you exempt. Like uh, Ezekiel, uh, the ninth chapter. Alright, and I heard the number of them which were sealed. And they were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of Israel. Alright, and I'm, and I'm going to just not read the whole, but I'm going to just jump down. It says, of the tribe of Judah. Alright. Of the tribe of Reuben, of the tribe of Gad, of the tribe of Asher, of the tribe of Naphtali, of the tribe of Manasseh, of the tribe of Simeon, of the tribe of Levi, of the tribe of Issachar, of the tribe of Zebulon, of the tribe of Joseph, of the tribe of Benjamin, all right, was sealed 12,000. So that's 12,000 from each tribe, man. All 12 tribes, that's your 144,000, man. All right. And after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations, kindreds and people. This is where they get stupid. It already gave you the subject, man. It's the elect. All right. Um, which what, can, when you go back to Ezra, it's just letting you know who they are. It said of Zion. So it's not all people, the heathens. These are the Israelites that were scattered among those people, as we read in, uh, in the book of Tobit. Okay. It says, uh, I'm going to start it again. Now, and after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds, all right, and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne, all right, and, and, only, and only Israel is going gonna, is gonna to call on the name of the Lord, man. 
the other nations have not known them. And there's a, a, a multiple scriptures I can get to prove that, man. All right. Um, and now we, I'm going to shoot over to Isaiah 14 to give you a, uh, another example of, of what I'm reading right now. All right. That's that's basically in the ushering in of the kingdom of heaven, man. This is uh, Isaiah uh, 14. And the Lord will, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Then say all people. It just told you that we were scattered to all people. So he's talking about our people who are scattered among them. So if you're living among the Chinese for 10 generations, what do you look like now? A duh. All right. But if you are the seed of an Israelite, if your seed line of survive, then that's who you are. It's real simple, man. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their land. And the stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. All right. Those those strangers are the very people we're talking about. you right. OK. That that set of strangers, those are the Israelite foreigners. All right. Who were not born in the land. So therefore, they're strangers. All right. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Uh, for for servants and for handmaids of them right there is the heathens. All right. And then we'll prove it. All right. It says, shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So the people who were captives in those lands where they were are now going to rule over the people that they were captives among. Idiots. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go to uh, Daniel. Finish this out. Go to the book of Daniel. 7 and 18, man. Because when the Lord come back, he's going to set up the 144,000. Those priests are also going to be his army, man. Matter of fact, all of Israel, the men of Israel, are the army of the Lord, man. Let me lamentation. After you see Daniel 7 and, uh, and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever, even, and, oh, Salaki, even forever and ever. So when you read that scripture, if, if for anyone who wants to be confused about who the multitude is, the Lord is not the author of confusion. Why would he tell you that the saints are the most high are going to take the kingdom and then tell you a great multitude is going to share in the kingdom with them? That multitude is Israelites. Okay? And to, 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 and to put, you know, a nail in the coffin of that, and this is the last scripture. We're done. This is uh, Psalms 145, 449, 5 through 9. Let the saints, you can only be a saint if you're an Israelite, Okay. Um, let the saints be joyful in glory. <clears throat> let them sing aloud upon their beds. And glory means you're in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're ruling. We're the ruling class people now. That's when we become priests. Okay. That's when we can start ex proclaiming that to the world, man. All right. To bind their kings of Salakia. <clears throat> they, they, I, I jump down. Let the saints be joyful in glory and let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands. All right. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Go back to Isaiah 14. Go back to uh, uh, Tobit, the, the, the 13th chapter. To, to execute vengeance among those heathens what we were scattered among who held, held us captives like we're captives here in America. All right. You have a birth certificate. Uh, it, it's, 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 it was sold as a bond to the IMF, which is, that's only done for slaves, man. All right. That's fact. All right. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment among the people to bind their Kings with chains. So those bankers, owners of the IMF, they're the first ones going into chains, thus say of the Lord. All right. And people like them and their nobles with fetters of iron. So the so-called Royal family over in England, all of them are going into chains, man, to execute Upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. 
All praise and glory be unto you. How about Shalom.